Hi, I'm John. And I'm Nathan. And today we're going to talk you through a beginner's guide to motorhoming. And yep. this is where we're going to talk to you about the real basics of what a motorhome is and how you're able to take it off grid with you when you go traveling. Okay, here we go. Hi, Nathan. Hello. So can you tell me, uh, does this vehicle have an engine? Uh, yes, it has an engine. It's just like a car and it goes in front right here. Excellent. And what else does it have? Did, could, um, could you sleep in it? Yes, you can sleep in it as like, I think it's a, this one's a six bed. Six can, beds. You can sleep six people. Well, more like five, but. Okay. And where can you sleep? You can sleep, there's two beds up here where you can squeeze Two beds three. up there, yeah. Um, but and then um, inside there's beds as well, is there? Yeah, there's in the middle here, there's like, actually we can open it to see in. Or just keep the dog in. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> Hi Patch. Yeah, two beds in there, that's good. Yeah, two beds there. And then uh, two at the back as well, right? Yeah. Awesome. There's two beds at the back. Hello. Oh, hi Nathan, so what are we going to do now? Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up the water. Fill up the water, great. And so what ways can you fill up the water? Uh, so you can either, you can just gra you can grab some jugs of water uh -huh. uh, and fill it up uh, over here. You just kind of put them in. Oh, fantastic. And what, what goes in here? Uh, a bunch of fresh water. Ah, fresh water, fantastic. And um, how much fresh water can it take? Our one can, we, we're not entirely sure what our one can take. It can take somewhere around 100, like 120 litres. Okay, brilliant. Um, so it can last like uh, Let's do it. But well, that's really handy because I have a hose in my hand. Oh yeah, a hose is another way. You and can an it. expanding hose, which is really handy. It's really flexible and stores small. So let's turn this on and put it in. Yeah. Um, take this please while I'm filming. A bit of a shaky hand. So I'm just going to put this inside and turn it on. Yep. So that's it. It leaks a little bit. Okay, and that will take, from empty, take about 15 to 20 minutes to, to fill up. Hi Nathan, so what happens with all the water, we're putting lots of water into Motone, but what happens with the water that we don't use, like the water that goes down the shower drain or down the sink? Uh, it goes into our wastewater tank. Oh, which, let's uh, have a look underneath. Yep, yeah, you can see it that. Oh, that's yeah. it there, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, I can see uh, it. There. Oh, that's pretty big. I think it's about the yeah. same size as our water tank. I think it's about a uh, uh, hundred liters. Yeah, and we need to empty it. And one like tip is to not empty it just straight into the ground because. Uh, that could be like pretty dangerous to the environment and it makes like a, a, a very extreme mess. That's right. So what have you got in your hand? Tell so, me what this uh, is. This is uh, the waste master thing. Yeah. I think it takes about like 40 liters of wastewater. And we had it when we had, we got it from a, when we had a caravan. Yeah, you can use some motorhomes too, right? So let's start filling yeah. it up. Okay, let's empty the wastewater. All right. Just pull that lever. Alright, so, yeah, yeah, so we got this in position, we open that, yep. and... Pull. Two hands. That's it, pull. Uh, that's yay. it. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's ah. it. Okay, uh, we'll get in position. Okay. And this will fill this up. Okay, Nathan, what are we going to do now? From the waste master, so this is this is not toilet water. This is yeah. waste water from your shower and your sinks. Okay, here we go, right. and it'll just come flooding at the end. Now, don't let go of the cap because it'll just fall down the drain. Well, actually, yeah, it will. You'll lose it. Brilliant. We're a bit here for it. Brilliant, there we go. That was quick. Oh, I thought it was way, way more. Hi, Nathan. Hello. So, how do you get electricity when you're in your motorhome? Uh, so, uh, one of the ways is from uh, the solar panel up there, which you can't really see. Okay. Um, but uh, that's on my own side van you have. Yeah. Uh, when you buy them. Uh, and that will just charge the batteries with, like, electricity. Okay. Um, how, many, um, uh, how many batteries, how many leisure batteries does it have? Oh, uh, this. Uh, this uh, motorhome has two uh, le uh, leisure batteries. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and yeah, and uh, the other way to get power is that uh, not the like batteries are charging them, um, is this thing, which you can get campsites. Oh great! Let's show plugging this in. Hi, so you're going to show me Hello. plugging in. Uh, this is like 
called hookup or mains power into yeah. the motome. Hey, you can only really get these at campsites, uh, not off grid. Campsites, yeah, or or at home. That's right. Oh yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we like to put that this thing uh, under like next to the wheel. Oh, uh, a cable reel. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so yeah, you just plug it in. You lift up this thing. Okay. And then it goes over the top of this like that, and then you just serve. Sort of, you don't need to like uh, push in a button or anything. That's right. Sort of, like that, and Fantastic. Then, then That's then, it. And then you got, it. You got infinite power. <laughs> infinite power. And this this power cable is just coming from uh, like mains power, isn't it? And this is a campsite we're at, so we're lucky to have power all the time. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, this is a toilet cassette, and I'm just going to. It's cleaned, and so I'm going to open it up and put in some chemical. This is the probiotic. A cassette toilet flush. So you put this in so it breaks down your waste. Okay, so you just put in about 25 milliliters of this and you just pour it straight in to here. And that's it. So now any waste that goes down will be broken down in a, in a few hours. We just close this off and we are good to go. Okay, and now we just open up this, which is where our toilet is. Take the cassette and push it in here. And now our toilet will work. I'm just gonna check this is closed. And yeah, that's it. Well done. Hi Nathan, so how do you get uh, power for heating and for cooking when you're uh, when when you're camping but you don't have um, like uh, mains power or hookup? What do you use? Uh, you use uh, liquid propane gas, also like a lot of people call it gas, um, and yeah, it's basically like a big like tank things that have like full of compressed gas. Oh, brilliant! That it's compressed so much that it's liquid. That's why it's liquid wow. propane gas. And you should turn this thing to get it open. Close open. Oh, what's uh, in here? We have big, great big like gas bottles. Uh, these are like eight kilograms each or something. That's right. Uh, and yeah, we got caravan term things, plug them in. That's right, so you just, I think what you do is you, when you're ready to use it, you just turn one on and you can either have two connected up at the same time or just one connected. We just use one at a time. And what we do is we, when we empty the first, we then buy a second. Uh, we, we always have a full one and then we buy another one. So we always know that we've got one spare yeah. that's full. And we use it for our heating and cooking. Well, I mean, yeah, if we're on hookup, uh, we'll use the heating for that. That's right. Okay, let's go inside. Hello. Hello. So, so we've shown everyone outside. We've shown them. Hello, uh, hello Padge. <laughs> hello, buddy. Hello. Hi, Nathan. Hello. So, when you're off grid, like just now, yeah. and you're just in your motorhome, and your motorhome has one or two or more leisure batteries, what things, I'm going to ask you what sort of things you think you can use on your leisure batteries. So, could you run your TV when you're off-grid? Uh, yes, you could. Great, like this uh, TV this here. One. Yeah, specially made for like motorhomes and caravans. A special 12-volt TV, fantastic. And you can look these up on Amazon or, or anywhere. Okay, what about your phone? Could you charge your phone? Uh, yeah, you can charge your phone. That takes very, very little power. Okay. Um, so you can use that like 24-7 if you want to. Fantastic. And what about lights? Does the motorhome have lights when you're off-grid? Uh, yes, you can use your lights, and if they're LED ones, like uh, this... Uh, oh, it's a bit broken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then uh, they take extremely little power, just like the phones. Fantastic. Do. Okay, so we've got TV. We've got all the important things we need. We've got TV. We've got phones. We've got lights. Um, what about uh, heat? Where do you get your heat from when you're off-grid? Um, you can use gas. Yeah. Um, Liquid propane gas, uh, which we call gas uh, instead. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, you can use that. Brilliant. And what about cooking? So this this motorhome has, um, it has a sink, it has a cooker, like a gas oven. gas oven, and it has a fridge, and it also has. If I move this water and don't spill it like I did earlier, um, <laughs> under here also has gas hobs as well. The the, going, the rings for. Uh, cooking. So, how would all this stuff work? Um, um, what does this use gas? The oven? I think. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it uses gas. What about the fridge? Can you run out of gas? 
Uh, yes, because that's yeah, a that's right. Thing. Brilliant. So you can run off gas, and you can also run off um, electricity. That's why it has yeah. these little pictures. So it has uh, that's for mains electricity. That's for when you're driving. But you your can battery. generate electricity from your battery, or it uses gas. Um, and then this thing, yeah, this... this thing, I think uses gas, right? Because it's just a gas. Oh hob, yeah, it three gas off electric, which is annoying. That's right. And your your taps, they work when you're when you're off grid. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. And that noise you heard was the water pump. Oh, um, yeah, that's cool. Great. And then the, the heating controls are up here, right? So you can you can turn this on and, and put the heating on and that will run on gas uh, or electricity. Great. That's really cool. <laughs> here are the beds. They're really, really simple. You can either have a bed uh, either side here uh, or you can make this all into a double bed by pulling out this middle part here and it pulls all the way down. And then there's also a bed where Nathan is just now. He's on his laptop next to his sister's laptop. Um, and that folds into two beds. And we also have an overcab bed, which is currently full of bedding, uh, since we're cleaning up a bit. Uh, but yeah, in there, you can't see it, but there's a big double bed up in here. And then this is the driving area where you can sit, uh, obviously, to drive or when you're sitting to relax later in the evening. Hi, so thank you so much for watching. This was our beginner's guide to motorhoming. And so we were just going to give you a quick tour of all the things you do. Oh, hi, Nathan. Oh. <laughs> a quick tour of all the things that you can have when you're off grid and all the fun you can have. And so it's really just a home from home and you can still have a warm place to sleep for the night. You can have lots of power, whether it's heating or electricity, or if you're just wanting to snuggle down and watch some TV, um, or if you're like Nathan, you may also want to bring your laptop <laughs> uh, and his sister also has his laptop, uh, which we run on our inverter on main hookup. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.